Hello, my name is Ben Wallbank. I'm a BIM Strategy and Partnerships Manager at Trimble. Today, we're at Hinky Point at the new C Reactor. Nothing quite prepares you for the scale of this project. This is just huge, you know, bits of rebar which are 40 mil thick, so you can't move something that's gone in place. A crane which is assembled by two cranes, which in their turn are assembled by two cranes. Over a million cubic meters of concrete poured so far. The scale and the complexity is unbelievable. It's complex, it's enormous. And we've been granted access today to the site and to some of the key players. One of the fantastic things for Trimble are the number of our products which are being used on this site. We run through the entire process from design, using products like Tecla, through to the innovation, which is the use of the 3D model for construction without 2D in Trimble Connect and Connect Mobile, right through to the use of Field View for recording all of the processes and processes on site and taking that information through to the client. And of course, What's been happening here has helped to inform the development of the product. So those of you who are field view users will already have seen that you can now use overnight sync. And that comes directly from suggestions made here. But you're going to see future developments which are really, really exciting. So again, you may have watched one of our other videos about the Aroqua project here, which is beginning to merge what's being done in Trimble Connect with attaching forms to elements of the model uh, within field view. And in our current development program, you'll see that uh, integration start to take effect and become available to all our users. I really hope you're going to enjoy this, um, this video and this talk as much as I have enjoyed listening to it from here. Thank you. Hinkley Point C is uh, the first nuclear power station to be built in UK for a generation. Um, it's one of the largest and most complex projects in Europe because we are building two identical nuclear reactors concurrently. Uh, at completion, Hinkley Point C will generate 7% of the um, UK's low carbon electricity. Just to give you an idea, we have about 5,000 people working on site day in and day out. Uh, we have uh, 50 cranes working concurrently on site, and we have the biggest land-based crane in the world. Bylor is the joint venture between Buick TP and Langorok, and we have a contract to deliver the main civil works here at HPC, uh, meaning that we are uh, constructing the buildings that will house the two uh, EPR nuclear reactors, and the bulk of work consists in the reinforced concrete structures. For a project of this scale, you'll never be able to do anything with paper. And uh, we officially started using Fillview in 2017. We started using it by digitizing our biggest piece of work to date, which is the reinforced concrete inspection and test plan. Uh, the digitization consisted in breaking down the execution checks into a series of sequential steps, which are represented by a Fillview process. And behind each of those process steps, we associated form templates, uh, which reflect the requirements within the inspection and test plans. Fillview provided Bailer with uh, improved quality of the records produced, uh, consistency, transparency, and uh, full visibility of the records produced on site. Uh, full visibility for the client as well, uh, which is quite important for us here because we are able to allow the client to see uh, all the forms created on Fillview at any point in time. Um, and apart from that, we've also given the client access to edit certain sections of the forms as part of their witness and whole point activities. Hi, I'm Michael McHugh. I'm a project engineer here at Hinkley Point C. I've been working for Bylaw, delivering the main civil works for the last six years. Bylaw developed the forms to aid the engineer through the process. And one of the huge benefits of Fieldview is they can adapt the forms to suit what is required. So if there's any lessons learned from the site, we can implement that into a form. And collaboration with the client, we've been able to link the Fieldview system with theirs so that we have real-time viewing of both systems which has brought further benefits. So the engineers on the site and engineers in the office can view in real time 
process of a pour and it enables everyone to understand how far a pour has been signed off and what steps are needed. We've been working with Bylaw for five or six years on the development of the field view on both sides to configure it for our own purposes. But also when the engineers are on site, um, if they have access to uh, one organisation's field view system, they can also access uh, another organisation. So in, in EDF and NMB, we are accessing the bylaw field view and vice versa. And that saves a lot of um, toing and froing, and we don't need to go back to the office and so on to, to check records. They're there for us available on the site. Hi, I'm Andrew Jackson. I'm Technical Director and Nuclear Quality Lead, working for Bylaw here building Hinkley Point C. Uh, and for my sins, I've been here for eight years so far and still loving it. Right at the beginning of the project, we reviewed how best to design and detail such an incredible range of complex structures that we have to build. Um, and having looked at lots of different options, um, we decided um, the project working together between the contractor and the designers and the client um, to do that work using Tecla. So that means that all of the concrete and the reinforcement on the structure, uh, across all our structures are designed in Tecla. Uh, and that's, that's the beginning of the process from doing that design. And we follow that all the way through um, from design in the design office, reviewing that design, making sure that it's what we need to be able to build it, right out to using the design here on site to get it built and producing the records of what it is that we have built. The project has used Tecla to design everything that we do here on the project. Um, and one of the things that's mind blowing about Hinkley is the range of scale. We, we use the same detailing approach from a one cubic meter pour in the corner of a building um, to the UK's two largest ever onshore continuous concrete pours. So we broke that record once um, just behind me here on unit one. Um, doing a pour over several days where we had to continue pouring concrete constantly in amongst all that rebar that had been coordinated and detailed in Tecla. And then when we came to build exactly the same thing a year later, we somehow found a way to squeeze a few more cubic meters in to break our own record again. Probably the two main factors for us of using that digital design and detailing process um, are one, being able to really clearly visualize and see what it is that we have to do. We find, especially as a construction team working with the designers, it means that, that we, the construction team, can better understand some of the designers' really complicated needs by spinning around that 3D model and looking inside. And at the same time, they can perhaps understand some of our construction requirements and can really see actually how maybe that detail is going to be very difficult to build and maybe it'd be better to do that instead. The other key factor of the software is coordination and being able to join together all the different complex bits of the design and be sure that they work together. So that's everything from the, the structural design, the reinforcement. Um, sometimes as, the, as the, the civils builders, we have to remind ourselves that we're just a small cog in the massive machine that is a nuclear power plant. So one of the main factors for that civils design is coordinating it with all the other parts. And it's only by looking in that 3D model that we can, we can see how it all fits together. I sometimes tell a story about how on other nuclear power stations, when they've had problems building things, it's because the bits haven't fitted together. And, and often there might have been one designer doing, designing the reinforcement on one set of 2D drawings and a completely separate designer designing the embedded parts on a different set of 2D drawings. And the first time those 2D drawings would be introduced to each other is in the left hand and the right hand of the guy stood on site that has to make it fit. Um, for us, by using the digital models, whether it's the civils design that's been produced in Tecla uh, or the other designs that have been produced on other platforms, we can put them together beforehand to be sure that out in the field, when we get to that point, everything's gonna fit out of the box. So when we were deciding what software platforms to use early on in the project, we were really conscious that we were making a decision that we were going to have to live with for a very long time. Uh, we chose early on to use IFC, and that's really proven to give us great flexibility to adapt as the industry adapts around us and as we develop. So that means that we can, we can get the design done in Tecla for the civils work, but also work with design from other platforms as well. We can bring together in the IFC format, all that different design 
uh, and then we can use that design out on site, typically using Trimble Connect to be able to see how all the different bits fit together and really visualize clearly how that works. And we've seen as we've progressed over time, um, the, the platforms have developed as well, but especially by working with IFC, we've been able to harness the benefits of the different developments in different platforms and take that on board as we continue to improve. Uh, it also gives us a great degree of control. Working in the nuclear industry, it's really important that we, we take exactly the information we're given and can show really clearly that we are using that same information. And by working with IFC, where the information is issued and frozen and controlled and we can tell who's made it, we can demonstrate that degree of control that we need to, to deliver nuclear quality. So working on such a big project, um, we work with lots of different companies um, and, uh, and all of those companies are involved in digital modelling one way or another. Um, and for us, that's everything from the nuclear designers designing the reinforced concrete all the way through to um, we're pushing the boundaries of how we do temporary works design in 3D model. Some of the things that maybe traditionally might be seen as quite basic, but with such a complex set of works to build, we have to plan it and coordinate it together with our works. So there's a whole range of different stakeholders. Um, and at the middle of that, we've had a, a long standing relationship uh, with Trimble and Tecla to be able to use their range of different platforms. And we've seen developments in some of those platforms, including things that we've asked for, and um, we've worked together with the team to be, able to, um, to be able to find new ways to go to work better. My name's Tim Davis. I've been on Hinkley Point C for nearly five years now, and I'm the central digital engineering lead for the Bylaw joint venture. Our main use of Trimble Connect is to get information that's traditionally only on laptops or desktops, such as 3D models, PDF documents, out of the office and onto the construction site and give that information to the workforce so they can have up-to-date, correct information at the right time. Our workforce use Trimble Connect to understand the very complex design we have here. Um, it's sort of design that's difficult to convey with traditional 2D drawings by giving the workforce the ability to view 3D models out in the field as they are doing the work. It makes it much easier for them to, to build the right quality and to get it right first time. Trimble Connect is a very flexible tool and after training people in it, we encourage them to be creative with how they use it on site. For example, the lifting teams like to use it so they can carry around a large library of lifting plans on just a small tablet or even just their phone. We use the Trimble Connect API to automate our workflows as well as to scale up usage of the product across the whole project. Trimble Connect um, not only allows us to push data and information out to the field, but also to get data and information back from the field. For example, by using the status sharing tool to track progress of our installation. To manage the flow of data coming from all the areas and sites, we created separate projects and we use field view locations to predetermine the work scope, such as uh, individual concrete pores. Um, using the 3D models, we imported the individual concrete pores to field view, and these inherited the unique ID and um, a hierarchy of the client's coding system. Uh, we then associated a process against each unique uh, pore ID and uh, allowed the engineers to use it on site. Uh, once uh, the records are completed, the individual core ID is, um, is visible on the output from Fillview and we can see straight away the records that were carried out for that core. I've been on this project for six years now and right from the beginning we decided we needed to use a digital system for all our records. Um, and I think at the start of the project a lot of the focus was on how we can capture and maintain those records in a, in a digital format to make them really easy to retrieve so that they're auditable, um, easy for people to take out into the field um, and, and a lot of the focus was around um, getting our engineers out into the field rather than sat at their desks in offices. 
Fieldview has transformed the way that we compile lifetime quality records at Hinkley Point C. When we were using the previous paper-based records, we were able on average to compile two lifetime quality record packs per person per day. Now we are using Fieldview, we are able to compile nine to 10 LTQR packs per person per day. On, on average, we are able to compile a lifetime quality record pack from beginning to end in only 35 minutes. So a, a lot of the focus at uh, the initial stages of the project was on um, deliveries of, of documentation, um, but we have a, an ongoing requirement to um, inform our client of progress um, and to help our delivery teams, our engineers out in the field to understand um, what progress is being made on site, what things need actioning, um, and FieldView um, allows us to capture that information really easily um, in the field, but also allows us to process that information using lots of modern data analytics tools because of the API that allows us to extract all, all the information from all the forms and processes that we use. I think one of the um, perhaps lesser used um, functionalities within FieldView is the, the ability to use the API to automate some of the administration of the software as well. So um, we have a very large project here. Um, there is a, an awful lot of uh, an awful lot of admin work that that goes into maintaining a quality system that's um, fit for purpose, that's ready for the new records to be created. Um, and so we use the FieldView API to automate a lot of those processes uh, to keep administration down to a minimum. We have some examples of using uh, real-time real data from the API. Um, so we've got uh, very large concrete pours um, happening here on HPC. Um, some of them are the largest continuous concrete pours that have ever been poured in the UK. And the API from FieldView allows us to hold the information that's being filled in the field every up to every 10 minutes and deliver that straight to dashboards that our senior leadership and our client are looking at sat up in the office and, and the size um, of this project means that um, not everyone can be at the work front looking at what's happening so the ability to move that information much faster than a person can um, up to the office to the boardroom um, to the client's offices um, is, re is really useful. So we're finishing today at the Hinkley Point Training Centre, which is the first completed building on site here. And I hope you've enjoyed and found as informative what everybody's had to say and our quick look around the site. So Trimble products are involved through the design process, with the construction process, um, with uh, health and safety and uh, all the sign-offs and progress reports that are needed on site. You'll see us continuing with our efforts to uh, bring this kind of functionality to everybody with our Trimble Construction One project, um, which is undergoing at the moment. So thank you very much for all your attention. Thank you.